Is there something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving your goals? I've used a professional to help me perform my best in the cage. Now our show sponsor, BetterHelp, can help you perform better in life. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist in just 48 hours. This is not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is professional therapy done securely online at your convenience from anywhere in the world. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your therapist. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room again. It's more affordable than traditional online therapy and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Join the over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Chael and save 10% off your first month right now. Rose versus Whaley. Guys, before you get into the X's and O's of that fight, think of the courage that it took for both ladies to agree to the fight in the first place. And we never heard anything. If there was anything behind the scenes that was back and forth between the promotion and the athletes, it never got to us, right? You never saw Whaley flinch one time. And moreover, you never saw Rose flinch, which is relevant because in their first contest, Rose was just shy of a three to one underdog. So if the odds maker has had it right, Rose doing a great job controlling distance, brings the kick, flips it over, puts Wei Lee down. Maybe she got away with one. What's wrong with that? That's what dreams are made of. You go there and do stuff that you know is going to be hard and you're not even likely to win and nobody's betting on you and you find a way to get your hand raised, get them in the rear view. Can't ever say I didn't do it. Can't ever say I was scared to do it. I'll admit to you, I got away with one. Now make her come back up. Rose didn't do any of that. Rose signed that damn contract, put it all on the line and walked out there. Rose is a badass. She is not intimidating, like say Cyborg. She is not powerful, like say Amanda. Rose might be the best to have ever done it. One thing that's going to make Rose look beautiful is when Rose finally gets done, how far does Wei Li go? Wei Li could, just by example, go become a 125 pounder and go and take on the bullet, which is something Wei Li has talked about doing a number of times. If Wei Li competes with the bullet, just imagine that. She, comp- she goes well. She steals a round. She, she, she steals a frame or two. She wins two rounds. Bullet still beats her. Just imagine that. Do you know how good that's going to make Rose look? Guys, nobody, in my opinion, looked better at Madison Square Garden coming out the backside than Khabib Nurmagomedov. When you see and you get reminded, because a lot of us have forgot just how damn good Justin Gaethje is. Khabib, in large part, got his wheel shined more than anybody and proved his dominance. I offer that to you because the same thing can happen for Rose. As great as she is, she has an incredible resume. She is ahead of Rhonda. She is ahead of Misha. She is ahead of Holly. And those girls are awesome. Pure compliments. Rose is ahead of them. She's a two-time, I said two-time champion of the world. And she did it in a different era of fighters. Even if that belt separation was a number of months, just over a year, it was still a different era. That is what Wei Li represents. An entire new era, an entire new form, an entire new fight of fighter. And Rose got the jump on her, not once, but twice. And I saw something a little different than the judges saw. I thought it was fairly clear that Wei Li won rounds one, two, and three. The most clear and the most dominant rounds, where there was no discussion, no thought by anybody, were the ones that Rose won. Rounds four and five. But round two was up for grabs. You need a little home cooking. You need to understand the psychology of the judges. You need to understand it's an American versus a foreign opponent, but we're gonna do it in America. That stuff's real. And the people that I watched this fight with, I told them when the fight was over, it's going to be a split decision. Well, that's a big call by me. People said, Chael, a split decision. Who do you think wins? And I say, I'm not sure. I, if you make me pick right now before Bruce Buffer says it, I'm going to say Rose wins a split decision. They say, how do you get a split decision? Well, it's real easy. Wei Lee won rounds one, two, and three, but round two was close. And if the judges want to have a sympathetic approach, 
and do a little bit of home cooking, Rose did give them the latitude to do that. I just don't predict for you that all three judges are going to wilt to that idea. If one does, Wei Li wins. If two does, Rose wins. And I'm going to bet that two will and one will dissent. And it's exactly what happened. But to see Rose think that she's going to fight this fight standing up, and for good reason, based on their last meeting, know that Rose can do well there. But then partway through the fight, realize I'm going to have to adapt and I'm going to have to take her and put her on her back. And having Rose have the ability and the sense and the IQ and the competitive drive to do that. Rose is one of and deserves to be in a lot of people's discussion as the best ever. She's just not intimidating. She's very kind. She doesn't make any demands. She doesn't challenge people. When she has a fight, she goes and does uh, press conferences. She doesn't threaten to break their bones, to smash their face. Why can't you be both? Why can't you be a really sweet person and be viewed for what you are the best?